top of the morning to you guys. What's up? I know it's been a long time. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. But I'll address that in another video. I'm on my way to pick up a new to me Lincoln welder. Now, let me turn this air conditioner down. I don't have my stand, so I'm not going to take you on the trip and talk on the way there. I was going to, but I can't find my stand. This is what I know about the welder, right? It's an engine drive welder. Uh, it's going to cost me about 500 bucks. I'm going to look it over. I've, I've glanced at it one time, but I couldn't remember exactly what it was. Uh, and the guy said it's a Lincoln 225. Well, I looked that up. It's older. I said, well, is it a Ranger 8, right? Because that's the one that pops up when, <laughs> when, you, when you're looking at older ones. And he said, no, it's a little older than that. So I kept searching. And I couldn't find just Lincoln 225, but I found a Weldan power and a Link power. So it's got to be, I think, one of those two. And those came out in different variations over di different period of years. Now, the thing I love about old equipment is, let me back this off. So you guys are right in my face. Sorry about that. It's been a while, guys. i got to learn how to re record again. Anyway, the thing I love about old equipment is, you know, like especially transformer. I like transformer welders, things like that. They're easy to work on. It's usually just some kind of link that, you know, the crank, you gotta fix the crank or, you know, something like that, something small. It's probably, it's a piece of plastic that's holding a piece of metal that's usually broken. And then you just have to fix that. A little plastic welding. <laughs> I love old equipment because, man, it's easy to work on, it's easy to service. He said it's just been sitting, it worked when he when he put it down there. He's the guy I get steel from. He's, he's one of the brother, brothers that were originally from Canada. The other brother's the one that helped me get up the job at the at the horse ranch. So, I mean, that's been a lifesaver. So, yeah, these guys are awesome, and they've hooked me up quite quite honestly, like some of the some of the best people in my life, you know. So, I have big thanks to them. They don't really watch YouTube. They're older fellas. They're country. You know, they know you know they're shooting you straight when they when they tell you something you can just tell and uh, I'm going to pick it up probably you know just clean out the carburetor obviously new plugs and oil change and some new non non ethanol gas is what I'm gonna use what I use in everything that way I, you can leave it sitting for a little bit so I'm on my way there to get it I'll get some video of it when I'm there and then I'll get some video on the uh, you know when I get back and then We'll go from there, guys. We'll see if you guys even want to watch my videos anymore. All right. See you then. What's up, guys? You caught me. I'm out here working. Whoa. You almost got to look at something there. Well, I told you I was going out to... This is another day. It started raining on me. It's been raining a lot. Now I got three days of no rain. You can see my hands are dirty. I'm starting to work on this new... This new welder I got, guys. Check it out. The trailer's right there. I need to recoat it. Mm, it's early in the morning. I just drank some good coffee. Got my beard trimmed up. Guys, what am I doing? I'm ready to go hand out some cards today. But first of all, I got a job lined up this weekend. I got a few more videos backed up for you guys. I got a special video that's going to be coming out telling you why I disappeared for eight months. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, you know, but for right now, I want to show you this new to me welder and see what you guys think about it. And then, guys, if you know anything about this welder, please help me out. I'm going to take it over to my buddy Damien's this weekend. We're going to tear apart the engine, get it all tuned up. Uh, he's really good at that. Pick this out. I'm going to show you this uh, new to me welder. All right, guys, excuse the mess. I'm actually taking it apart. I should have showed you beforehand. It comes with this high frequency box on it, but I'll go over that in a second. I'm just trying to get it out. I'm excited it's not raining, so I'm starting to rip it apart. All right, so it's a Lincoln which is awesome it's old as fuck you know they've done some <laughs> finagling to the thing i'm probably going to bend to the exhaust there i'm probably going to bend it around the facing the that way so that way it's not you know towards anything when it when it's going you know i'm gonna have to change that gas tank because it's metal but anyway it's a uh, i don't know if you guys can even read it it's, it's in here I'm, I'm not gonna be able to move this so i'm gonna try to get down in there no I think it says it right here. Yes. Weldan Power 250G9 Pro ACDC Arc Welding. All right. Okay. You guys can barely see that. I'm going to clean all that off. Obviously, that's just get some rim cleaner for that shit. 
Uh, anyway, there's an idle, idler control. You can set it high or low. There's the there's the fine tuning knob down there. You can do AC, DC, negative, positive, or CV, which would be the the high frequency box and the it was set up for MIG that way. Or you could use, you could use a suitcase on CV. You can set it to CV over here. It's got a bunch of bunch of settings, right? Now you can set it from 45 to 250, and then you got fine tuning above that, above and below that. It's got a high frequency box, and it was set up to do aluminum. It looks like. I mean, it's got gas and everything, so it's got gas lines. Now, I'm, the reason I'm taking it apart, I mean. You can look, most of these wires are, it's been sitting a while. It worked when it was sitting. Now the guy that, like I told you in the in the first part of the video, the guy that sold it to me, or basically gave it away, um, is one of the old country boys, man. If he said it worked when it, when it sat, it's been sat for a couple, or sat for a couple years. So I'm going to try to get it run. I think it was set up for, maybe he did MIG this way. I don't know. It's an old ass gun. But a lot of the wiring, man, is just rotted, ripped up. I was trying to show you. There's like, that's not even the worst. Here's one over here. Just, man, it's all peeled apart, taped up. I'm not going to use that. <laughs> you know, I might try to save the gun somehow. But I'm taking it apart for right now. So that's what I was doing inside the high frequency box is just taking it apart, man. Luck luckily, everything's labeled. Whatever. I'm going to leave that on there. I'm going to clean it out with contact cleaner. Look at that dead gum capacitor. What is that? Is that a capacitor? I think it is. Maybe a res giant resistor. Maybe it's a giant resistor. 10 ohm. Yeah. That's a resistor. Wow. That's old school shit, man. Anyway. Yeah, I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to have it. It's it's a... I'm going to clean it, paint it. I'm going to paint it my own colors. I don't really care about, you know, showing off that I have a Lincoln or anything. I'm going to change the oil, obviously. Plugs. You guys can see. It's not so bad. I mean it's had the oil changed and everything it's had the oil changed and everything so it's not so bad it's got a square air filter all these parts are really easy to change it's what I love about old stuff right I could modify get a gas tank modify that whatever me and my buddy's gonna get on that this weekend put that tailpipe around the other way but let me tell you about what excites me the most Here's what excites me the most about this, guys. I don't have my little tripod thing that I normally hold so it's further away. So, here we go. Here, here's the funny thing, though. First of all, I emptied this entire toolbox out thinking I was going to have to take that off to put this on. Cause it's always bigger in your mind, you know? <laughs> I thought this thing was going to be huge to take up the whole truck. And I was like, wait, I saw one on a video behind a toolbox. I was like, I could just scoot that forward a little bit. Because I, I like to keep my gas cans and stuff up in up in between that so I got my cones and my gas cans and stuff so they're kind of protected and then so it doesn't leave a lot of room but this thing sat good sideways so it was all good but here's what excites me about this the most right the frequency box the getting a suitcase for it it'll take a LN25 or a LN7 uh, LN25 is probably what I'm gonna go for something like that a generic one of freaking whatever I can get really and then I'm gonna go at it that way but for now I just want to get this thing working on stick and here's what excites me the most guys I'm gonna tell you <laughs> I promise <laughs> is it's got a hundred percent duty cycle on every setting on AC and DC my other welder it went up to 225 AC right and it was a hundred percent at like hundred and twenty uh, 120 amps something like that or below right which was good but it went up to 150 it only went up to 150 amps DC and it wasn't 100, it was like 100% uh, percent at like 90 amps or something like that. Anyway, it wasn't a lot. Or maybe even lower than that. I can't remember. Uh, I've, I've taken it off the truck. I'm getting everything ready for a job this weekend. Now, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use the, the little beast, the little welder, the little 80 amp, the lifesaver. Um, but anyway, the uh, it's 100%. This one's 100% all the way up to 250. So I get tw 25 more amps on AC and then a ton more on DC and it's 100%. I can just work all day long. I don't have to worry about it. And it's got a 9,000 watt uh, generator that will put out at least half that when you're using a grinder or something. You can, either way, it's got little steps in it. I'll show you the uh, manual one day, but it's got little steps in it to where you can still work while you're 
you know, it's just me, so I won't be doing that. But when the welder's off, I mean, I got 9,000 watts. I'm going to run some wiring through. You know how I do, guys. DIY. DIY. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I feel a lot better. I'm back at it, guys. I got me some some new shorts. Some <laughs> My wife to turn my... <laughs> Look at that. That looks ridiculous, doesn't it? I feel like I'm back in high school, right, in the 90s. Like, this was cool. I should wear this off of one shoulder. <laughs> Nah, but it's hot. It's hot here, so I got to actually install some Velcro. I'll show you guys. Wing! On the back side, that's the fuzzy part that's soft, not the rough stuff. That's on the legs. And then I'll put the legs on if I'm welding and I'm down on my knees or some shit. Anyway, I'm getting back at it, guys. I'm excited to get back at it. Uh, feeling a lot better. Let's let's do this. I'll see you. Is it too soon? I'll see you soon, guys. Maybe tomorrow.